Bought this at a local online auction, paid 50 for the pair and took a best offer of $475. Turned $1.79 clearance buy into $74.95. I bet. Hey, Bolo Buddies. Thanks for watching. All right, you guys, in this video, we are going to talk about big money bolos, items to be on the lookout for, items you can hopefully buy low and sell for a profit. I'm going to tell you where they got it, what they paid for it, and what it sold for. So this is my Bolo Buddies Facebook group. Come and join. It's down below in the link tree link and go over to the group and look in the featured announcement section for share your bolo. It's going to be a post that looks like this and it'll have whatever month we are in. And you share your bolo. You tell me where you got it, what you paid for it and what it sold for. You can shout out your social media, Instagram, um, Facebook group, uh, whatnot, YouTube, whatever it is, and your stores, your platforms you sell on, and I will mention them in the video. So it's a great way to share a bolo and also get some exposure for your social media and all of that good stuff. So the first one I kind of already talked about in another video, but I didn't show the pictures. So I kind of want to come back around to it simply for the fact that I want you to see how damaged this item was, okay? It says paid $11.99 at a thrift store. Item was damaged, was discovered when plastic wrapping was removed, listed and sold within 48 hours. Happy hunting bolo friends from Yunction Junction. I could have sold for more, but someone is going to love this. All right, so look, I just want to show you right here. Look, the arm is off and it's still sold for $90. Dollars. So do broken items sell? Absolutely. I know I stress that to you guys all the time and you see me sell things that are broken, missing parts, all of that good stuff. But um, I just wanted to share this with you guys, the actual photo of the broken area. And Steinbach right here is a great nutcracker brand to look for. So definitely if you see that, look it up. This one is uh, Abraham Lincoln. The next item is this Sony C. DP. Uh, it's a CD player. We're just going to go with CD player here. And picked up at the Goodwill in January for $13, sold it on 6-30, June 30th. So it took about six months to sell for $700. I He said he had to cancel the sale and relist it for local pickup, which is why it sold on July 1st. I'm going to Nashville to visit my brother. I live in Atlanta and the buyer lives outside of Nashville. So no shipping. It weighs 45 pounds. This is Doughboy Treasures. Oh my goodness. I'd be so nervous to cancel thinking, what if I cancel and then they don't pay? Because guess what? It happens, guys. People sometimes don't pay. <laughs> and it's very, very frustrating for sellers when people don't pay. Am I right? So you can see here, they did include a video. Great idea. And one thing, I mentioned this in another video, you can make big money on these items, but you got to test them and you got to ship them. So uh, I typically skip the electronics. Uh, I think my husband would be good at something like this, but I just don't have the time or the patience to do this. But then I think $13 into $700, maybe I should be like thinking about this, right? Oh my goodness. The next one here, I love this one. Sold in five days of listing. I had it sitting in my closet as I purchased for my hubby and he didn't like it. It was a discontinued, it's now discontinued. Turned $1.79 clearance buy into $74.95. I bet she is wishing she would have picked up like 50 of these, right? What got to be thickening styling cream? $74.95, guys. Now that's incredible. These are Fire King. Bought all eight for five and sold within 30 minutes of listing. This one comes from Willow Alley. And they are Fire King Anchor Hawking eight Camelot thumbprint mugs. Wow. $165 in 30 minutes. They're gorgeous. Again, I talked about this in another video. I don't like breakables. So when I find items like this and they have a good sell-through rate and they're a bolo, I would probably 
part these out and sell them individually just to make shipping easier. And that's completely up to you. It's just for those of you that kind of think like me, I don't like breakables, that is another option. So instead of selling it in a set and worrying about how you're gonna get it into the box, you can sell the items individually. Not working corrupt Pokemon XD Gale of Darkness Nintendo GameCube Cube disc only, 2005. I don't know what not working corrupt means, but this still sold for good money. So if anybody can explain this to me, and maybe they do here, let's see. Found this Pokemon game disc for free at a thrift store that had a free box of items. Grabbed this and some other games out of the box and all of them sold. Game did not work, but apparently people buy this to collect or for display. All right, there you go. Sold for a best offer of 50. Positive feedback was left. Flippin' Fantastic Finds is the eBay store. So is there a way to fix it? Is it because the disc was like uh, scratched? Somebody, anybody know? Let me know what corrupt disc means. I don't know anything about video games like that. All right, this is a great, great example of action figures, cake toppers. They can be used as cake toppers, but they're also action figures. Now you're looking at this and you're thinking $15, but I want you to wait, okay? And the reason I'm excited about this is because I love selling toys. She said, I bought these in a grab bag for like $5 and separated them into the into lots of the same show's movies. Uh, she said she thinks she has five separate lots, so making the cost about a dollar a lot. And a repeat buyer of mine made a bundle on Mercari and bought three of the five lots I had listed. This one, uh, I'm sorry, this is one of the lots. I sold one for 100, also sold one of the other lots for 80. The whole bundle he bought was $200. So this one is Wreck-It Ralph. And so she paid five for all of these guys. Here's the next one. It is UCS LLC and HMH Curious George movie. So they're the figures from Curious George. $80 on those. And this is uh, Disney Junior Sheriff Callie's Wild West. 100 bucks on those. So I'm going to guess that some of these figures are probably harder to find. And maybe she had the complete set. I'm not sure. But $100. So she took five bucks, turned these three listings into over $200 and still has some to sell. So small toys can definitely be a bolo. I'm going to say it again. Mercari has no selling fees now. So she sold this for $100. $100 went in her pocket. So... Um, it's a good reason to maybe get your items cross-posted to Mercari. I use List Perfectly. I love it. I've got some new videos out with some new things that List Perfectly are doing. I went from the business plan to the pro plan. So let's talk about that first. Oh, I just sold something. Um, oh, and it's an, I think it's something I just listed with my new feature that I'm using from List Perfectly that I talk about in a video. So I'll link those videos down below. List perfectly, 30% off your first month with coupon referral code BOLOBUDDIES, all one word. And the link is down below. That is a referral link. So check it out. And um, I just went to the pro plan. And once you join the pro plan, you can upgrade to, or is it called upgrade? Or uh, you get the pro plus plan right now until the end of the year. It's free. So it's a part of, um, it's like an upgrade or whatever a trial period. I guess that's what I'm going to say. But there's more information about that in those videos I did. And again, I'll link them down below. If you're not on Mercari and Poshmark, those are the two platforms that I cross post to. There's Etsy, there's Depop, there's Grail, there's all kinds of platforms that you can get on. Uh, again, I am just eBay, Poshmark, and Mercari. But Poshmark, you can use my referral link down below. You'll get $10 to shop with that. And Mercari, you'll get uh, $10 to shop and another $20 to shop when you sell $100 worth of items. And I think Mercari has some special offer going on right now. I don't know if it's over by the time you watch this video, but it'll be something. It'll tell you what you get if you use my referral link. So check out those referral links down below. Check out the List Perfectly videos because the new features are going to knock your socks off, okay? Um, it took me five years to switch from the business plan to the pro plan. So I'm telling you, these upgrades are fabulous. 
All right, let's check this one out. It comes from Childhood Finds, who is a mega bolo finder. She is on YouTube. You guys definitely want to check out her YouTube What Sold videos because she has stuff like this. I mean, oh my goodness. These are portraits and she sold these for huge money. They're beautiful, right? Uh, got this at a local online auction, paid 50 for the pair and took a best offer of $475 after eight months. So they did take a little while to sell, but it's a unique, different item. List it and forget it and make that money. Childhood finds, fabulous. Here's another one from Childhood Finds. Got this at an estate sale and a big tote of Christmas ornaments. So less than a dollar into it, sold in a week for full asking price. It's a Christopher Radko cobalt blue gold Fabrig Fabergé. <laughs> Christmas ornament drop vintage. Did I say that right? I don't know. But this one, it doesn't look super fancy, right? And she sold it to, for $249.95. Wowza. And this one comes from Nina's Jewels, also on YouTube and um, eBay. She is also now on Whatnot. So make sure you're following Nina's Jewels over there as well. And this is a, oh, I don't know how to say it, Scrapelli or something like that. It's a grape cluster, faceted, iridescent amber brooch. Oh my goodness, it's gorgeous. And um, if you're not on Whatnot, definitely come on over. I'm over there. I'm selling over there. I love it. I'm doing untanglings. Bolo Buddies, check out Nina's Jewels. Also, there's a link down below where you can get $15 to shop. That's my referral link when you join Whatnot with it. I also have a link to sell on Whatnot. If you're thinking about branching out to a different format of selling, there is a referral link that will let them know that I referred you. So I have Whatnot tutorials that show you how to sell on Whatnot and how to ship on Whatnot. So definitely check those out and maybe it'll be a good fit for you. Maybe not. It's not for everyone, but it's definitely fun to buy, to resell on whatnot. So uh, people are sourcing all kinds of things from me and flipping them for a profit. So come check me out. And she sold this for $375. She paid $7.57 for it at the Salvation Army. What? She said, found in the glass case at the last minute pickup while checking out. That is crazy. Um, I also have a video on brooches. If you type in Bolo Buddies brooches, Bolo Buddies clip-on earrings, I have category videos where I talk about all types of big money brooches. Now, I don't know a whole lot about jewelry. So these are research videos that I have done where I research to help me learn and to help you guys learn. So definitely check those out. This is also from Nina's Jewels. Uh, she said it was gifted to her to sell by her family, sold for full price of $89.99. Nina's Jewels on YouTube, eBay, and whatnot. And she said, thanks, Courtney. You're welcome. Thank you for sharing. It's a Mark Jacobs purse. All right, you guys. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for watching. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share. Come on over to the Facebook group and share your bolo. And I also have share your best plush bolo. And if you guys want to see more about plush stuffed animals, yeah, stuffed animals that sell for big money, type in Bolo Buddies plush and get ready to have your socks knocked off. Like seriously, stuffed animals sell for big money. The Rebel Reseller is also a great channel to watch if you want to learn more about stuffed animals. Oh my goodness. Uh, hat, new hat, blue, Bolo Buddies blue with owls because I love owls. This was made by Seam So Vintage. She sells these on whatnot and she has all kinds of different colors. She custom makes these. She knits it. Is it? crochet knit. I don't know what it's called, but she's fabulous. So if you want a hat like this, seems so vintage on whatnot. I'll put her uh, name down below and they're in her buy it now. And if you don't like the color she has or the button she has, or if you just want something custom, she'll make it for you. So message her. And um, she's great. She's great. She's one of my mods and we've become really good friends and I'm buying up her hats. And I know you guys are always like, where'd you get your hat? Where'd you get your hat? So I'm just going to tell you where I got my hat. All right. <laughs> Thank you guys so much. I will see you at the next one. And thanks for watching.